What's cooking, good lookings? Today we're gonna be whipping up some spicy deals and securing some juicy profits. Oh, y'all don't like it when I talk like that? <laughs> what is up, guys? Dollar and a Dream coming at you with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking $100 and going through apps like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace and seeing how much money we can make in one week by taking things from Craigslist, OfferUp, and Facebook Marketplace and reselling them either in person or on eBay. So I'm pretty excited for this little challenge we got going on just to see how much we can make in one week starting with $100 on these local apps and finding local deals. I did cheat a little bit before the series has even started, not even gonna lie. Last night I was on OfferUp, I already had the video idea in mind, but I hadn't recorded the intro yet, and I ended up finding a deal that I want to start this series off with. So I'll throw a screenshot up on the screen for you guys. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one working PS3, one broken PS3, and I think it was like 25 games for $100. I'm not sure exactly what I can get for that on eBay, but... One of them, like I said, one is like going to be listed four parts only and then the other is working. I'm assuming it's coming with all the cables and whatnot. I'm going to go meet the guy and pick that up around 6 p.m. tonight as long as I'm off work by then. So hopefully I'll be able to meet him up tonight. If not, maybe he'll be able to meet up a little later. So as soon as I go and I secure those PS3s, I'm going to get back with you guys and we're going to list it on eBay, see what we can get for it. We're definitely going to list it for a pretty cheap price since we only have a week to scale this up and get as much money as we can we can't spend too much time with one item so I'm gonna be I'm gonna have it priced to sell within a day or so because like I said we need to get that sold so we can just keep going and going and going so I'll see you guys later tonight when I go to pick up those ps3s controllers and games all right guys I'm about to head to Harris Teeter and meet this guy buy his two ps3s one that's broken for a hundred dollars plus 25 games and four controllers so we'll let you know how that deal goes down Alright guys, so we officially have secured the bag. What we got here is two PS3s, four controllers, 21 games, some of them, you know, pretty good titles, got Grand Theft Auto 5. We even got this kitty for sale, not gonna lie, that's probably gonna be our big breadwinner in this series. But, the craziest thing I found about all this is both of these PS3s work and they work fine, they read the games and everything. Oh, don't forget Spider-Man 2. But yeah, honestly, this is turning out to be a really good flip. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to get for it yet, but I am going to price it accordingly. And I'm also going to price it so it'll hopefully sell really quick. I checked the system information on the second PS3 that I turned on that I showed you guys. And it's running firmware version 4.86, which I guess is able to be jailbroken. And for those of you who don't know what jailbreaking a PS3 is, it's where you can uh, run backup games on if you're catching my drift. So my plan is to pair the one PS3 that cannot be jailbroken with all the games and controllers and then sell the other PlayStation 3 console that is able to be jailbroken by itself with just the power core that it came with. All right, boy oh boy do I got a little update for you guys. And when I say little, I mean like it's actually a pretty little update. So I did end up getting both of those PS4s, the whole bundle and whatnot listed on eBay last night and everything sold today. And you know what? There's good news and there's bad news. So I ended up getting $70 for the original PS4 that we thought was broken, but it wasn't broken. I got $70 for that, and then the other PS4 that was identified as working from the start and jailbreakable, I listed that with the bundle, which I know is opposite of what I said I was going to do, but I don't know, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but that's how I listed it, and I sold that for $160. Money add and multiply. So the $70 that I got for the PS3 power cord and the one wired controller that came with the PlayStation bundle that I actually forgot to include in the video yesterday, but it came with five controllers, one was wired. After shipping, eBay fees, PayPal fees, I ended up with $46 and like 50 cents. Now I sold the other bundle, like I said, for $160 
and I'm looking at about $115 after I pay all the fees, but there's one catch to that. I accepted a best offer on the deal, and the person hasn't paid yet. It's been about seven hours since they bought my item and they still haven't paid me. I've messaged them like five times. You know, that's probably a little excessive, but I really just want them to pay me since I am on a time crunch right now. But unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. So what? That's the way she goes. So I got $46 to work with. You know, I've been messaging all sorts of people trying to get stuff for $46. I actually did message someone offering $45 for an Xbox 360 bundle and they wanted more and I like genuinely told them I have $46 that I can give them. They, they weren't really going with it, but I am trying to move away from just flipping consoles because you know, this isn't a series, you know, flipping consoles, but with $46, you know, the Xbox 360 did seem like a perfect flip. But as of right now, I have nothing going on with my $46. I am going to continue to hunt around and see what I can find. Hopefully I can flip something good, you know, make a few bucks. Or best case scenario, this person just goes ahead and pays for that PS3. I noticed that they have zero feedback and they probably don't know what the heck they're doing. So you know, we're going to pray that they pull through. But if not, we'll have to relist it on, I believe, Friday because you have to wait 48 hours after no payment to cancel the list and relist it so but you know what a good series wouldn't be a good series if there weren't a few curveballs in it so I guess this is our curveball I'll see you guys once I get a new flip on the way let's get right into the news so it's officially thirsty thursday and i'll tell you what i am thirsty for some gosh darn profits the buyer of our 160 dollars ps3 bundle still has not paid us and that leaves me with no skrilla but i still gotta pay the billas oh that was kind of corny my bad but on a real note started with a hundred dollars and now we're at 46 you know the series ain't looking too good the resiliency is kicking in. I'm about to work through these failures and I'll tell you what's happening. I'm about to buy a PS2 bundle with this weird little, uh, I think it's called a Zenith. I, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Portable screen and it's looking pretty promising. I'm giving the guy $45. I think I can easily sell it in one day for $89.99 or $84.99. It's nothing crazy, but since we are on a limited budget, we'll make a little bread. And hopefully this lady will finally pay us for our PS3 bundle. You know, I've been messaging her. She finally did get back to me. She's like, I don't know how to use my card on PayPal. I'm like, oh my God. But she said she's going to go to Walmart and buy a prepaid PayPal card or something that she can top her PayPal balance off with. I don't know what the hell she's talking about, I'm be honest. But she is saying she's going to pay us, so we're praying for a payment tonight. I'll, I'll keep you posted on that, what happens. You know, if we don't get paid tomorrow, we will be able to relist it and file an unpaid buyer case, all that crap. I'll be right back with a little update once I've picked up this PS2 bundle. Oh yes, you know that sound? That is the sound of a working PS2. The sound of some Skrilla to pay the billows. Yes, sir. Boy, oh boy, do I got an update for you guys today. You know, a lot has happened since I last talked with you guys yesterday. So, PS2 bundle with the portable screen sold $90 on Mercari. That's the first update. And two, PS3 bundle that we were waiting for payment on Completely canceled the order, relisted it for $180, not even $160, $180, sold within an hour of listing it. So we've got the PS2 bundle sold and the PS3 bundle sold. Between the time that I had sold the PS2 bundle and the PS3 bundle had not yet sold, I realized that I was at a total of $68.53 because after shipping and everything of selling the PS2 bundle for $90, I walked home with $67, so that's a $22 profit from the $45 we spent, plus the $1.53 I had left over from earlier in the series. So that had put me at a grand total of $68.53. And then after that, I went ahead and I spent $60. And you know what I spent $60 on? We, we, or some say, we, we. <laughs> We got two Wii's and a decent amount of accessories that I don't really, I can't necessarily show on screen right now, but there is a lot of accessories and I'll show a picture of them, which I already have listed on Mercari. 
So I do want to go into that, that I started listing my stuff on Mercari because it seems as far as video game consoles, the sales happen much quicker. I did sell the PS3 bundle on eBay, but with the Wii's, I'm going with Mercari. I might also list them locally to see if I can get just cash for them before someone on Mercari buys them. But I have the uh, bundle with all the accessories listed for $75, and then I have the single console with just a power cord listed for $55, and that's for the Wii's. And then we also have a little bonus for you guys. So we were also able to obtain Sonic Lost World for the Wii U. I listed it for $15.99 with free shipping. After shipping, people are usually paying about $25, and I'm hoping I can just get this sold before Sunday when I wrap up this video. So that was a nice little bonus to have a, like a good little $15 game. You know, after all the fees and shipping, I'll probably walk away with like $11 from that game. But it's time that I give you guys an update on the bag status of our video. So after selling the PS3 console with all those controllers and games for $180, after shipping, eBay fees, PayPal fees, you know, so many darn fees, I walked away with $126. That plus the $68.53 put me at $1. $194.53 but then we also got to take into account I just spent $60 on this Wii bundle the two consoles whatever you want to call it so I am at a grand total of $134.53 plus two Wii consoles accessories and this game that's my current bag status for anyone wondering so now that we do have a decent amount of capital to work with, another 130 bucks, I am going to go on the hunt and see if I can find some more good items in the higher dollar range that hopefully I can get flipped before Sunday. If I can't find anything that's going to be a quick flip, I will just end up holding on to that capital, but I am going to be trying my best to find some good flips with the budget that we have. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever I get these Wii consoles sold. Next time I have an update, so I'll see you guys soon. So it's currently Saturday afternoon and we did end up selling the Sonic Wii U game for uh, $16. After fees, shipping, PayPal, all that stuff, we, we walked away with $10.67. And if you guys remember earlier in the series when I talked about that guy who didn't want to sell his Xbox for $46, he hit us up today. He sold us the bundle with the Xbox console, the power cords, 18 games, 3 controllers, and I think that's it. He ended up selling us that for $46 today. And then I went and I plugged in the Xbox console and it's got the red ring of death. Mother trucker, dude! So, that's actually pretty crappy, not gonna lie, but I should still be able to sell that on eBay for maybe 15, 20 bucks. And then on top of that, I'll be able to sell 18 games. GTA 5 is included in that, three controllers. I'll definitely be able to get our money back on that, but that's a fat loss. As far as profit goes, I'm not going to be making much on that at all. We are still sitting on our two Wii consoles and all the accessories. I'm hoping to get that sold today. If it doesn't sell within the next couple hours, I'm just going to drop the price on it. So that way I can have it sold for Sunday. So where we're at right now, Saturday afternoon, we're at $101.20. Two Wii consoles, some Wii accessories, a broken Xbox 360, three controllers, and 18 Xbox 360 games. So I'll keep you guys posted on what happens, what we end up getting for all of these items, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another update. Alright guys, so it's officially the last day of my challenge and we've made a lot of sales today. Major update incoming, so get ready for this. So I got it all written down because it's a lot to it's a lot to remember. So we've ended up selling just about everything. We are stuck with a couple things and I'll get to that here in a second. But first what I want to talk about is we sold both of the Wii's. The Wii bundle and then the Wii and power cord. The Wii bundle we sold for $60 on eBay after shipping, fees, blah blah blah. We got $42.47. The Wii and the power cord we sold on eBay. 36 bucks. Kind of a blow to the head but you know 36 bucks will take it whatever. After fees and all the shipping and whatnot. $22.98 and just just remember with these Wii's we did try to sell them like super fast we probably could have gotten an additional like $40 if we had just waited and took our time to sell them but that's not the point we were on a time crunch and we hit it so that's what we got for the Wii's with that Xbox 360 that I bought um, when I had said earlier in the last video it included 18 games it was actually 17 games and one movie or not movie um, TV series it was Vikings season 5 volume 1 and for some reason that's actually worth some money it sold for twelve dollars on ebay after shipping and everything i got seven dollars and twenty three cents 
GTA 5 I sold by itself for I think eight dollars and fifty cents you know I could have got more out of that as well but I just wanted to sell it real quick uh, after fees got four dollars and forty cents three Xbox controllers sold for twenty three ninety nine I ended up getting $12.54 after shipping and all the fees. The Xbox 360 also came with a Wi-Fi adapter and that sold for $15 on eBay which ended up being $9.61 after shipping. We take everything that I sold today and add that to our current bag status of yesterday which was $99.20 and we have a grand total of $198.43. Not too bad, but we still have a few items laying around and I'm gonna get to that. We have the Xbox with the Red Ring of Death. I'm just estimating I can get $10 for it. And then I also have 16 games. Some are good titles for the Xbox 360. I'm probably just gonna lot it up, sell it for 25 bucks or so on eBay. I'm thinking I'll get 15 to 20 dollars after all the fees and shipping from those Xbox 360 games So we'll take the low end of everything and say we've got another 25 bucks and stuff laying around But that is besides the point it didn't sell so we're not gonna add that to our grand total We spent one week starting from a hundred dollars and we made 98 bucks from it I'm pretty happy because Honestly, it was probably about two or three hours of work total, if that. Most of the work was really just shooting the video, and that you know that's actually pretty fun. So I definitely recommend flipping video games and game consoles from offer up. You know, I honestly did not expect that to be the entire series, but you know, we got started with the video game console, and I was like learning as I go with the video game consoles what they're really worth and how easy it is to flip them, and we just ran with it. So. This entire, I guess this entire one week series was just flipping video game consoles for a week starting with a hundred bucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one week video just seeing how much money we can make starting from a hundred dollars flipping things on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace over to eBay and Mercari. And also I do want to say I have sold everything on eBay. I don't think I sold anything on Mercari that I said I was going to sell on Mercari. Sorry for cheating on you eBay. I'll stick with you for now on. No more Mercari. But I hope you guys did enjoy watching this one week video. If you guys have any questions at all on how to get started just selling video game consoles or anything at all through OfferUp, please feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll definitely give, give you any advice I have, you know. I'm not an expert at this, but I'm definitely like, you know, learning it and getting better at it. With that being said, happy Valentine's Day everyone and I hope you enjoyed the video.